I'm Sarah Birch with Kingsmith News, and here's your top headlines today, September 20th, 2023. The Doula Support Foundation has announced their new book, An Anthology of Canadian Birth Stories. Everyone is invited to two book launch events being held this weekend. A small nonprofit based here in Kingston, DSF provides full spectrum doula services to people and families facing financial and other challenges. All proceeds from the book and book launch events will return to Kingstonians in the form of doula services to low income families, according to a release from the organization. Queen's University has changed the signage on campus washrooms in an effort to make them more inclusive, safe, and welcoming spaces. Single-user washrooms across campus are now gender-neutral, with signs that focus on the function of the space rather than the gender of the user. In addition to the approximately 250 single-user washrooms across Queen's University campuses, three additional universal single-user gender-neutral washrooms are being constructed in Robert Sutherland Hall, McIntosh Quarry Hall, and Coastal Engineering Laboratories on West Campus. A unique event happening in Napanee this Saturday will bring together superstars of the queer rights movement and those who want to learn from them. Greater Napanee Pride is the organization spearheading the first ever Pride Summit, taking place this Saturday, September 23, 2023. Napanee Pride are beyond excited to host this first annual Pride Summit and hope it will be the perfect platform for Pride board members, volunteers and advocates from across the region to connect, learn and share knowledge. Tickets to the September 23rd Summit, which runs from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at Napanee Secondary School, can be purchased on the Greater Napanee Pride website. On Sunday, September 17, 2023, Kingston Police arrested two individuals attempting to steal copper cables from Bell Canada's network. According to Mirko Bibic, President and Chief Executive Officer of BCE Inc. in Bell Canada, Bell customers in the Kingston area in eastern Ontario have been repeatedly impacted by vandalism to the network. There have been 40 incidences in this region alone since the beginning of the year. On Saturday, September 23, 2023, the Royal Kingston Curling Club, located at 130 Days Road in Kingston's West End, will kick off the 2023-24 curling season in style with an open house from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The event, which features live music, bouncy castles, and face painting, will also give members of the public an opportunity to try the roaring game for themselves, with learn-to-curl sessions offered throughout the day. Earlier this year, Kingston Police asked for public assistance to identify a suspect in a mischief case involving vandalism at local conservation area Lemoyne's Point. This suspect has not yet been identified, and police continue to ask the public for any information they may have on this individual. Over the course of multiple months, approximately 30 benches have been damaged along with washroom doors and various other signage on the property. On the evening of Saturday, September 16, 2023, Kingston police were called to the area of McDonald Street near Concession as the Kingston Fall Fair was taking place at the Memorial Center at approximately 9.30 p.m. When arriving on the scene, officers could hear a vehicle accelerating loudly away from the area at a high rate of speed. Pedestrians who were endangered by the passing vehicle had been attempting to cross the road at the location. The vehicle was eventually pulled over by police on Concession Street near Fergus Street. According to the release, police arrested the driver and lone occupant of the vehicle for dangerous driving, and a further search of the vehicle revealed there was more to the story. The search revealed a loaded 9mm handgun with a swastika carved into the receiver. Police also located a full box of 9mm ammunition, a loaded sawed-off shotgun, and two other firearms inside the vehicle that were not secured by locks or in storage cases. For more on this story and other local news, please visit kingsness.com and subscribe.